Hello everyone, welcome back to Slurred Words, Place FTL. I forgot to kill my crew members last episode at the shop. <laughs> and last episode we started playing as the slow cruiser. We're cruising along. Um and yeah, we're now gonna probably jump to the mantis sector because our goals for this episode is mainly just get some achievements unlocked. The big two is nebulas. Uh go to the 30 nebulas for sector eight, and then uh have vision every room. For that one, we need teleporters. So we need like a shop. Also, because we're going for teleporters, we're probably gonna go for a Mantis crew member in the Mantis controlled sector, let's hope, at least. You encountered a poorly charted area space known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your whole playing's up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. All right. Well, what do we need right now? We need a shop, because we don't really have a lot of power in our weapons. You pick up a distress call from a civilian ship. It's being chased by a mantis ship. You frown, carbon weapons, and prepare to gauge the mantis ship. Not today. You know, this might be one of those cases where we try to kill the person. Get in there. Breach them. We are a really bad place with weapons. Nice. That's what we needed. Ion blast. Please, just keep that down. God damn it, I hate this. So, they say stop working on the weapons. That's fucking gold. Also, I mean, you should probably close these doors, right? We killed the one guy, I wonder. What's the achievement? Kill three crew, me ass. Yeah, that's not gonna work that way. Although, we could breach. Easy money. Got our missiles back for the most part, I think. With no more life signs detected in the power shape, be hasten to contact the civilian ship. The sector's become increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation. I think my crew could patch up some of your whole things. Thank you. Okay. Let's go here, because it's better routing. Like, this is fucked. We need to go up here. <laughs> so let's go here. We're still just looking for a shop. We're looking for better weapons. That's what we need right now. You take small military outposts and a few fighters nearby. This mineral rich planet is isolated location. Be prepared for a legal mantis mining operation. As you consider your options, a ship launched from the outpost, prepare for a fight. Okay. Not as dangerous of a ship for us, because we can at least actually like don't put as much effort into piercing the shields. Tell you what, I got an idea. Turn off this. Let's bre start breach bombing. He said. I'm not too worried about this, like, uh, ship killing us, so. They're dead. Hey, you got John. Welcome aboard, John. Now that your ship has been emptied hostile, so you search it, eventually find a person who offers to join your crew. Thank you, John. Let's go. You're going to be our new shield person, okay? What are we really going to everything else? Scrap, uh, shields, crew members. Uh, we just really need better weapons and maybe teleporters for the achievement. You immediately hailed by an impressive mantis ship. Your ship are making money, find prize, prepare for battle. Ah, oh, fuck. You know, I just realized I gotta do something real quick. I don't think I. Clocked in. I'm a fool. On time. Post. Ah. Can't. 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 Yes. 
On time, post covered. I'm a fool, because I've got to check in. You immediately hailed by an impressive looking mansion ship. Your ship will make a mighty fine prize. Prepare for battle. Go down here. Me, I'm down there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me with this bullshit. Fine, you wanna fight? You wanna fight, brah? Okay. They can't pierce our shields. But neither can we, easily, at least. Dual combo. Let's fo keep focusing on that. in this room. Oh, they're dead. Tell you what, the breach is a really good. The breach one's a really good weapon. <laughs> the breach two really charges too long, I think. I think that's part of the problem with the breach two. Okay, you get in there. There's no more crew members aboard. You salvage where you can from the remains. Let's go. Fuck it. We need a store. We need, the stress beacon is also very interesting, so I think we're gonna go for it. We're not doing terrible in this sector after all. Like, to we can pierce shields, just firing a lot of missiles. Or bombs in this case. Oh, my back. Um. I'm sure I think there's anything interesting going on. I mean, schools just kind of, you know, getting pretty hard. There's a bunch of idiots that got coronavirus from going to parties. But I think that kind of phase is already passed, you know, first week of college. They find a source of distress call. A small research station it appears to have a small laboratory fire. Get out of control and are threatening to destroy the station. The fire suppression system is not responding. Let's send it to our rock room, remember? The rock soldier tears through the airlock directly into the fire. you never seen someone that large move that fast. He disperses much flame, uh, fire suppression into the uh, heart of the flame, and eventually the fire begins to die down. Wow! He gave us a, a, a weapon break igniter as the free augment from that. That's fucking dope. With most of the fire under control, the scientists are able to get to uh, secure the station. They offer you sincere gratitude and chance reward. Thank you. Okay, so that's going to be part of our focus now, I think, right? <laughs> this is the only thing I'd speak and offer is a few of a deep space and brief despite respite from the battles. Must have been welcome to the refuge. Let's go to the store. So, like, I think, like, right now, if we get, like, like a Falcon, an Ion Bomb, and then the bio anti bio beam would be pretty dope. Upon arrival, you're hailed by a well-spoken Mantis. Hail, Traveler. These are dangerous times. Perhaps you find yourself in need of our service. He appears to be a traitor. What the fuck, dude? I don't... I, I need teleporters. I need teleporters. Like, so bad. And heavy laser's all right, but, I mean, it's, we need something that can pierce shields. That bad. Hell, I even think about taking cloning base. There's a shop nearby, but it is a distress beacon. Okay. The Howard Beam is like the only thing kind of interesting to take because we need to do more damage. And this, if we use the Ion Blast with this, you can actually do some damage. We're not using the bio beam right now, so I guess it's what we're doing. Turn off the breach. Turn off the breach. Turn on the. Fuck, that's right. Turn this up. Turn this off. Turn this up. Let's turn up for what. And uh, if this goes down, and or if this goes down, then we can switch them around to have these three go be back to our main. Everyone back to position, first off. We also got a weapon pre-ignited, so that's pretty good. Okay, so 
we gotta plan this out. There's only two beacons here. Let's kind of go around the outskirts a little bit and we can head the, to the distress beacon. Sorry, it's gonna have to wait to distress beacon. We, we gotta, you know, min max our routing, you know? A nearby mantis uh, mining operation clearly uses heavy energy slaves as labor. You briefly consider the possibility of emancipating the slaves, but the mantis presence is too formidable. You decide to lay low. Lay low. Let's go through here. A, you hear grating rattles and soft clicking. You reach for your pistol. That's pretty interesting. A little interesting di dialect there. Got this under control. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else to talk about. I am going to start recording back to doing two days. It should be more time to work on homework. It'll give me some more stuff to think about banter wise, more stuff in between to happen. I think, and I'll stop overloading the uh, the, uh, the backlog and like having like five episodes come out in one day. That'd be nice, right? Let's go to the stress beacon. Uh, you arrive at the distress beacon, find a small a small asteroid belt, and find a ship with pirate markings partially crossed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Let's carefully cut out the ship. You use your beam weapon to make a few precision cuts into the asteroid. The ship gives a quick burst of its thrust, and the rock crumbles away. They thank you and offer some of the resources they had collected. I will say, I, I'm not. I'm digging kind of not. There's a store down here, as we realize. I'm digging kind of not having headphones in. There's nothing here but space debris and some uninhabited planetoids. Here. You identify a mantis trading post ahead. You signal them so that your approach won't be taken as a threat. The leader hails you. You have scrap? Quick. Uh, come dock before the warriors see you. Okay. Well, that's actually pretty good if we get teleporters. So, we'll grab it. We're going, we're going for it, right? Anyways. I don't see any teleporters, so fuck my life, but let's go here. You arrive at the long range beacon when you have TL traffic charge, you can jump to the next sector. Scan to reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful material while I wait for FTL to recharge. Explode asteroid field. The pirate ship hiding in one of the large asteroids attacks you. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna ion blast you, you fool. I think there might be a way to get all four. He's got to kind of like really corner it. Nope, that's just that's just one. Let's okay, we took down the big weapon, which is good. That's, that's a good thing. God, I think it's scary. You know what? I'm going to put weapons again. This might be one of those cases for right now. We kind of got to lay low, right? The ship repeatedly hails you. Looks like they want to surrender. That's not going to happen. I'm really, you know, the Asher Field's playing to our advantage here, too. It's long, that, that was like a lot of damage on the Halberd Beam. The Halberd Beam's actually a pretty decent weapon. It's a little bit of a long charge time. Fucker. Okay. We need dual lasers. Rock crew guy can get in here and help with the fire. Yikes. Mmm, still yikes. There's a fire. Maybe it'll. Damage enough. Let's go! 
Come on, asteroid. S -s -s something to hit. God, that was good timing. Let's turn off the dual laser, turn on the halper beam, put this back in position, and we're good. Bastards. I can't believe you've done this. Almost killed Reinhardt. The ship explodes leaving behind scrap materials. There's a shop. No, oh, this is a sector though. We'll jump to the next sector. It's just a lock home nebula. So now we gotta really start counting. This should be number seven of the nebulas, because as you remember, we're going for achievements. The slug that live in this nebula are e a leisure center civilization. Everything is slug life is done in the purest of more currency or the pursuit, the purest. The pursuit of more currency and more time in which to spend in extravagant adventures, this inevitably leads to tetriarchy in open space. It's repaired, then we'll send you three to heal up. And then is there a shop perhaps nearby? One with a teleporters or even better weapons? Hmm, perhaps. This uh, ship engineer set up a small shop here. Nope. Firebomb's interesting. So we could use that with the uh, anti-bio beam. But we don't really want to... I don't think we need it that bad because we don't have teleporters yet. And it's still going to require bombs. We kind, of, we kind of have to breach bomb for that purpose too. Though the firebombs, do, if we send over Debbie, for example, would be a lot better. And we're back to positions. So that's one, two, I mean eight. Two for the sector, eight overall. A Mantis attack ship here looks at been hunting slugs on their home turf. Array of test of honors for the mightiest Mantis crew. Weapons up, all right. Actually, you know what? I wonder if it'd be better off to like time these up or something, right? Don't like that missile launcher though. That's gonna suck. Can you get in there? Fight him. You gotta actually be shooting. What about the weapon pre igniter, dude? Oh, we didn't have our weapons activated. I'm actually really mad about that. That's it's my fault. I won't I won't lie. It is my fault. Nice dodge, we needed that. You know show I've been like watching? I don't watch a lot of TV shows, for one. Like I've been watching a lot of Trailer Park Boys, for one, lately. And it's probably been like my third time on a rerun watching that show. Turn this off. Like, you know, let it go off. I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of this shit. You know what, fuck it, keep breaching them. They did they, they, their ass to serve it. Reinhardt, you're at full weapons. I want you to heal up, okay? We'll send Rebecca in to heal up in a second here, but I really want... Ah, oh, yeah, they have cloning bay, dude. Okay, look. I know what must be done, but I'm not sure if I'm strong enough to do it. Get in here! Fucking gangbang him. Everyone back to position. Reinhardt, you can f f work on that, okay? Okay, so what's his face should be dead. We should not be using this many, many breach missiles, but it's kind of like we're all in now already, so it's too late.
Okay, everyone back to position except for Rebecca. You're also at full engine. Wow, our crew members got that done fast. But it's fucking a particular engine guy. Okay. Turn off the breach. You're dead. We got another slug. Let's go. Now that the ship's been emptied of hostiles, you search it, eventually find a prisoner who offers to join your crew. Let's go. The thing is, I'm not sure where we're gonna put you. Everyone back to position. You can be like one of our boarders when we actually start getting going on that. Eventually, you know, when we eventually start getting going on that. Right, let's go down here, because I can at least see if it's like a shop or something. Okay. I also had the wrong weapons, but we kind of just want to get out of here, right? A slug ship hails you. We text some worrying radiation coming from your medical unit. Perhaps we should take a look as he signs off, system shut off, and the crew teleport on board station. They don't look like engineers. Get the fuck in there and help Debbie. And help him out, Debbie. Or fight Debbie and Ebu. Okay. Like. I think we should do this, right? Okay, turn off the breach bombs. We might need these the next couple. We'll see. But yeah, so... I don't watch a lot of TV to begin with. Let's go here. That's right, you can't heal up. Go back to your positions then. And, uh, oh, fuck off! God, we definitely got to save one though, right? They got like out. Oh, fuck me. Is there like a shop nearby? There is. We're going through these stores. We need better weapons. It's as simple as that. We are in a really bad spot for weapons. You cautiously approach a slug colony on a huge asteroid. It takes a brave person to set foot on a slug planet. It could take weeks to get out mucus out of the clothing. Still, you must. Yeah, business to be done. God, be fuck. Actually, gotta be kidding me. Why is there no teleporters at all? So to this door. A huge slug teleports from uh, nowhere onto the bridge. Before you have an open fire, he sprays his wares across the helm, branching things at you. See, I don't. This all sucks. I'm gonna think I need to buy like a fucking control, a drone system. I lost track of how many beacons we've been through. So let's see, one, two, three, four. That's a plus to six that we were at. So that's ten. Okay, look, this is what I need. Need to do this. Oh, I need missiles too. Okay, I want you to fix this. I want you to fix this. We'll get this healed up. Then we're going back for revenge on that guy because we know there's a ship. No, we're not. It's a very powerful ship. That's fucking stupid. Okay. Um. Hopefully though, this should help. Either it's part of a slug's base is asserted, or too dense for even slugs to detect your presence. It's time to move on. Let's uh, also heal you guys up. Anyway, so I've been watching a show called Clone High, and um, this the JFK character is really good. So this guy's just got some good lines. Nothing ever bad happens to the Kennedys. Ah. This is it's really good. 
I'd highly recommend watching it. And I heard it coming out of season two. That's I think how it kind of exploded back to popularity. Was like, oh, you know, season two coming and people kind of uh, started, you know, you know, pay attention to it again a little bit. That's how I discovered it, I'm pretty sure, because, oh my god, what the fuck is this routing, dude? Okay, we're gonna go back here to the store. Actually, no, we're gonna go back to the store now. No, we're not. Okay. I got. This is this is all shit. What the actual fuck is this shit? Okay, so that's eleven. I panicked a little bit trying to go to the store trying to find something, but. Apache Slug Hales, please, your worthy alien highnesses, we're unarmed and seeking asylum. We approach cautiously, and weapons immediately spring from their hole. Why is like every slug ship got like so many fucking shields and watch it's gonna like dodge all these shots? Nope, never mind. Okay, hover beam. Okay, didn't take down the weapons. That's kind of a problem. I think we're just dead. Like, I, I don't know what we're gonna do. Turn off this, please. Okay, plane shots up properly. Wait for the halber beam. Okay. Now, ion blast. Okay, fine. Dual laser. And then... Halber beam the fuck out. Damn it. It's, nope, it's not. There you go. They're gonna, I think they might kill... We're not looking good, is all I'm saying. Turn off auto fire, too. This is, this is bullshit. It's not working. If we keep running into ships with like missiles, we're screwed, right? You best does. Please leave us see in a store exchange for our lives. We'll not accept surrender. We don't need that anymore. Let me guess. Another missile hits. Let me guess. Another missile hits. Damage. Yeah, we're like one hit away basically from their missile launcher. That's good. Fucking kill them though, finally. Oh my god, ship explodes in pine scrap material. Do we want to go back to like a store by chance? Heal up, I, I mean, I guess we probably have to, right? I'd rather kind of just die at this point because I think this is kind of like a lost cause. But I think that would be a little bit throwy, you know? I don't want to be that bad. Finally. Let's look here. It's, uh, use a tactic they hope you never see. They use remote hacking satellites to sabotage your oxygen production system and charge fire weapons. You're gonna, they're gonna suffocate you. Okay. Tell you what. Ion blast. Dual laser. Nice. Nice. That's what we needed. Anyways, uh, I've just been digging the uh, JFK memes. I've been looking at a couple of them today. Oh, pound! The ship explodes, leave behind uh, scrap material, and your system's distorted normal. Okay. Coolio. Okay. 
it's starting to feel a little bit better now. It's just, it's still just fucked, all right? It's just absolutely fucked. The Slug Festival encountered here obviously has made big score, and Slug Tet's new armaments, they picked the wrong ship attack. We'll see about that. Okay, Ion Blast. Oh, that's bad. Okay, do this. That's really bad. Boys, this might be where we die. There we go. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. So he's saying there's a chance. Oh, I fucked that up. Let's just wait, just wait. Okay. Do it now. You clearly best of those. We'll accept what's in our stores in exchange for our lives. We will not accept surrender. Fuck off, basically, with that shit. <laughs> Ship explosing behind scrap material. I can, if I could just get an achievement, I'd feel pretty good about this run. You arrive at the Long Range Beacon when you have to yell, drive charge, can jump to the next sector. Uh, the number of extraction platforms in this area, you find one that's the open slot that can do some immediate work. Upgrade your auction system for 20 scrap. Nah. You think I'm prepared to move on. Let's look at these sectors. Rebel Stronghold, I guess that's gonna be for next episode. If we can even kill it, then we'll see about that. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, come like, subscribe. See you next time. Peace out.